Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411, and we are back in Pleasant View for another redesign. This time we're going to do the Dreamer household, 195 Main Street. But before we do it, what I am going to do is go ahead and take a quick look into it to show you why I'm doing it the way we're doing it. So of course the pop-up happens. Darren Dreamer wants to paint for a living, but does he have the skills to pay the bills? Those past due statements are starting to pile up. So he has bills here that are 255, 268, and up here, none of them have turned orange, yellow, or red, but 321. So between those three, he's going to barely have enough to pay his bills. This is basically his art studio up here. We're going to try to maintain the concept of the house by but doing a better redesign. This, of course, is going to be Dirk's bedroom. This is Darren's bedroom. And over here, we have the grave of Darlene Dreamer. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that in Darren's inventory because, like I mentioned in the broke one you wouldn't have we wouldn't have been able to do this prior to nightlife because we didn't have a personal inventory but we do now so now we can save her or we could move the grave somewhere else but I'm not going to do that so now I'm going to exit to the neighborhood and I will actually uh, I will evict them so the neighborhood imposter does actually show Darlene's gravestone right here, but I know that we have it unless I clicked no when I exited to the neighborhood, so I better double check that. Okay, so I did double check it. It is absolutely fine. We are going to move them into the lot. And now I'm going to go ahead and check to see what my val... Okay, so my budget is 43 six seven nine all right that's what I've got to work with we are not going to move them into the house and we're just going to redesign as is okay so the first thing that I am going to do is create my tabula rasa just like I would with everything else and Matter of fact, I have to make sure that I get rid of the walls. And now the connecting staircases cannot actually be gotten rid of by grabbing them. You have to use the hammer tool, so there we go. And we also have to get rid of that fencing. And more with the tech and end up oops I did not mean to do that that's okay make sure I have everything clean the way I want it yes I do now I'm actually gonna do something you can actually add a basement to a pre-built house so we'll just do that very quickly grab your your foundation tool and press your control key and go down like that and like that you have to have one tile of space all the way around and the next thing you do is you're going to grab just like we did with the in Brandy's house we're going to find a spot where it's pretty close to the beginning as sometimes this is the most critical when you're dealing on a lot that's not a hundred percent flat so we've got that done dug three three tiles long and we're going to use the terrain tool go that direction now go this direction and that direction grab my hammer tool hammer time okay and then put it back Okay, so if, oh, there we go. And you know what? That is an act that, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to, 
apparently that is on a foundation as well so we will do that I do love me there we go make sure yep there we go and so if I need that space I've got it now I'm going to go into miscellaneous floor tiles and this white one here zero is technically the ceiling tile and so that's the default ceiling tile I'm just gonna go ahead and put that down again just to create a space something to look at and it's not confusing now I'm gonna sit here and think for a minute now while I'm thinking I'm actually gonna take a look see at the roof and it is what it is so we're going to change up the roof a little bit uh, let's see we'll, we'll remove that and we are going to use the long gable just like I did on the trailer all right and I'm gonna leave that like that but I'm also going to change this up down to 30 and we're going to lower both of those give it just a little bit more interest maybe do I want to lower that mm. no I'm gonna leave that one that height but I've got an idea that we may or may not employ later but right now we're gonna leave it just like that Okay, so after a bit of thinking and logistics, I decided that we're going to keep Darren's room over here, but it doesn't need to be 7x4 the same way Brandy's doesn't need to be 7x4. We're going to make Dirk's room right here. It's going to be 4x4, so ostensibly it's actually 10x10. 10 10. We're going to have an additional bath right up here. And I'm going to make a stairwell right like that. Okay, so next I am going to grab a regular staircase, not a connecting staircase. Not the cheapest, but the second cheapest. And let's see, let's go for Darren likes blue, so we're going to go blue and blue because we like that for him. And that is going to be four over, one, two, three, four there's that and now down here we are going to use this area right here this will be a third bedroom then this will be a study and we will also have a little powder room right there so that is our floor plan and because I'm desperate to see whether or not it worked we're gonna put that polished bamboo down just like we absolutely love and we will use the beige carpeting in the bedrooms And our tiny tile that we absolutely adore but we want it in shades of blue because this is Darren a lot of blue some green or the floor blues that's what we're talking about because this is Darren and he really likes blue so does so does Dirk they both like blue so we love that for them all right and we're going to stick with a nice clean white tile now from a design point, an actual interior design point, it is actually best to keep plumbing relatively close to one another. So that was actually kind of my impetus as to what was going on there. The other option for a powder room was to put it right there. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that. So I removed that powder room and I'm going to build another one right here. And I'm also going to put a coat closet in right there. Now, the rest is going to be basically a great room. This will be living, dining room, and 
kitchen all together here. Like I said, this will be a study. All right, and we are going to use the walnut door, which is one of the less expensive doors, not the least expensive, but definitely one of the less expensive. Let's make sure we put the door swing correctly like that. And for Dirk's room, we will put it right there. Oops, not right there. Like, ah, no, it's apparently not working with me. There we go. And for the hall bath, we will put it right like that. And for Darren's bath, right like that. Down on the main level, we will put this right like this, going into there. And we're going to do an archway, a fairly inexpensive double wide archway. The wooden arch, that looks good. No, that's a, that's not right. That's actually from Bon Voyage. We don't want that. We'll just take this one that matches the front door for the study. Because the study is going to be open concept. And up here is our art studio, also open concept. We're going to save a little money on the exterior by giving Darren the blue house of his dreams <laughs> with a life stories exterior color. Make sure that it, yeah, there we go. Because I feel like Darren wants a blue house. Now, Darren does have a thing for Cassandra Goth, and Cassandra is, of course, Bella Goth's daughter. And Bella comes from a long line of mystics, so we are going to go ahead and create a little bit of a whimsical, because this ostensibly would be, hmm, if he marries her, the baby room, the nursery. So let's make it super cute like that. Let's give Darren a bold dark blue stripe. We might give them a different give him a different carpet. And I feel like Turk Turk Dirk would like a little bit bolder, also reflective of the colors that we chose for the bathroom. All right, let's go ahead and put that teal carpet in for Dirk and this deep midnight in for Darren. There we go. And this is what is potentially a guest room or nursery, we'll give it a white carpet. We will put our we will put our dark bamboo in what's going to be the study. And I'm going to paper the study in one that was created by a friend of mine, Val, who was the owner of Sim Estates. I was a builder for Sim Estates until sadly it closed, but we're going to put that in there. It's very sophisticated, very sleek. Love it. She has a lot of awesome stuff. I will package anything to anybody. If you are if you want it, I have to send you everything. But it is by my friend Val. I am going to do the studio walls just like that. Very simple. Lots of natural light in here. I'm probably going to switch out. You know what? I'm going to switch out some of these windows, the window I have in Dirk's room for these over here. Now for the main room, we are going to actually use this one, the kind of blue from Boho Days from Apartment Life. And that's also going to set the mood for the furnishing of the house because Darren is an artist, so we're going to use a lot of Apartment Life furnishings. So when you're in your folders, you've got the Sims to Apartment Life. There's Bohemian, Gearhead, Jock, Socialite, and Tech. And we're going to go with the Bohemian. And this is going to be, I'm going to have everything in here somehow represented. Okay, so here we go. This is the finished product. We came in at 42,568, leaving our folks with just over 1,100. And let's take a look. See, 
you enter, we've got a coat closet right here, then a little powder room. Over here we've got the kitchen, dining area, and sitting area. Over here we have got the study with a chess table and a bookcase. We do have an empty bedroom. We're not going to bother decorating that right now. Uh, the studio is not decorated as well as it was because honestly not gonna I just didn't have the money to do it but we do have two full bathrooms and the master bedroom and the teenager bedroom now let's go ahead and put our guys into it to see what they think oh there is one last thing I gotta do I forgot to do this let's go ahead and put that on and that on and I will be right back alright so we are ready to go ahead and buy it absolutely so we are here on the lot let's go ahead and put Darlene where she belongs right over here and let's go ahead and see what they think the biggest thing I'm interested in is to see if their score bottoms out in the main room with the light wood and it's a good environment score so that worked I thank you so much E Street Angel for putting me onto that hack to save my bamboo and I will see you soon in the pixelated world. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And that's all I have to say. VK out.